Huh? Now, <laughs> so you can see right today, meaning we'll be doing chapter one from five. So especially for those who are having exam, like in the coming weeks, right? Definitely you're going to have chapter one in your first term. Okay, but those who are having exam later on, we treat this as just a revision, lah, a normal revision. Now for chapter two, I won't go through this seminar. Definitely there's not enough time. So chapter two here, I already put a QR. You can just scan it. And it will link it to my YouTube channel, which, which this video actually is last year seminar, which last year actually I did chapter two. Now, if you think this video will be too long, if you go to my YouTube channel, right, there's this uh photosynthesis video. So you can just search photosynthesis and then you can just, because chapter two photosynthesis is the most important, but yeah, you can watch that video lah, if you don't want to go through the whole process. But of course, go through this will be better lah, because I go through 2.1, 2.2, 2.3 and do questions also. Okay. And then the questions that I did in this video here is the, yeah, I got include in these notes. So got notes, you can see here, got notes. And here, got question behind that. I can own self go and go and find. Okay. All right. We don't wait time, Lila. We still really start. All right. So for chapter one, it's about plant growth. So already written here, organization and plant tissue of tissues and growth. However, we only will be focusing on growth today. We won't really study about plant tissues because that part, not too important. And yeah, due to time constraint now, of course, definitely. So 1.1. Plant tissues, maybe later I'll, I'll mention a bit, uh, definitely, but in detail that I won't go through already. So you got to read yourself, like, yeah, epidermal tissue, ground tissue, and vascular tissue. What's my YouTube channel name? That, uh, see? Behind. Can see, right? David Brown. <laughs> it's here. Lah. Okay. Yeah. So you just go and search it. Then, okay. We still start with 1.2. So for 1.2, Meristematic tissues and growth. So let's talk about growth first. I'll explain in a while what's meristematic tissues if you don't know. So growth, there are basically two types you're going to learn. Um, one's called primary growth. And that one's called secondary. Okay, means like the first, basically it's like first growth, second growth. So primary is always the most important one. So plants will undergo primary growth. First, definitely. It's like you go primary school, they only go secondary. So primary growth, right? The importance right, is to increase the length of plants. To increase the length, increase the height lah, in general, means become long. But when plants become tall and long, right? You become unstable. Imagine you skinny, skinny, long, long like that. Wind blow, you still really tumble down. So therefore, you need secondary growth to help you increase the diameter of the plant. However, right, not every plant will undergo secondary growth. Okay, usually woody plants, plants that have wood, they are the only ones that can undergo secondary growth. Because usually woody plants are much more thicker compared to non-woody, like grass, for example, they are non-woody, uh, pandan leaf, banana tree, for example. Those are plants that don't have secondary growth. They said their diameter will be, yeah, smaller a bit. Okay, so number one, meristematic tissues. So what is meristematic tissues? So you can remember meristematic tissues as baby tissues means like young, okay, but actually the correct term is young tissue. I'll just call it baby for easier for us to remember. La. So these tissues, right, they have no function. And uh, they all look the same because they are babies. Just like us, when we all baby, then we all look the same. Huh? We're all fat, fat and bought up, right? So the same. So meristematic tissues, there are two types. You have apical meristem and lateral meristem. So apical is found at the shoot tip and root tip. So shoot tip, root tip, meaning the topmost part of the plant and the bottommost part of the plant. Okay, shoot tip, root tip. Ah. Lateral meristem is found at the sides of the stem. Now, side is not like, like on the, on the side like that, but it's like when you cut it cross-section and you look from the top, inside there are two rings. You have the inside ring, and the outer ring. So these two rings are collateral meristem. So apical will involve in primary growth and lateral will involve in secondary. So right, these meristematic tissues, right? Okay, we mentioned so here, yeah, length and uh, increase length, increase diameter, just like we mentioned in the art. So these meristematic tissues, right? Inside, they have meristematic cells. So meristematic cells uh, basically, the cells that form the meristematic tissue are because 
a tissue will have same cell, like muscle tissue have muscle cell, epithelial tissue have epithelial cells. So say meristematic tissue will have meristematic cells. So these cells, right, they are baby cells, I say. Okay, so they only can do one thing. Because they're baby, they don't know anything. They only can cell division. They can only undergo cell division. So their function right, is to uh, uh, divide actively by mitosis. Means you just form more cells and more cells and more cells and more cells. So therefore, in epical and mer and lateral, uh, sorry, in the epical meristem, right? Since the, the, the cells here, see they are found at the tip, right? We mentioned. So the cells here, right, when they divide, divide, divide cell division non-stop, right? As you have more cells, you grow taller. Same here, as you have more cells, you grow longer. So it's, it's the same for lateral meristem. So here, right, as I have more cells, I will grow inwards and outwards, and therefore. The plant will become thicker, increase in diameter. Understand? Okay, now this meristematic cell strap and meristematic tissue strap, later on, they'll start to become mature. Just like when we are baby, after that we will grow, we become big, we become when we become older, we become more mature. So as they become mature, they will form then just now the, the page number two that permanent tissues. So Mary's tissues after they grow already right they will then become permanent so this process they already mentioned here is called differentiation so you just remember to become permanent they need to become different right as they grow bigger right, all the cells right, will become different so when they are young they time i say right, they all look the same they are just basically a very basic cell a cell with a nucleus inside then when we are baby we all look the same However, we all go, grow older as we become mature. We all have different roles, different functions in the society. Some of us are doctors, some of us are engineers, some of us are teachers, some of us are uh, whatever, lah, something different, different kind of occupation. So here you see, when, you, when they become permanent tissues, right, they will be different than each other. You see, some become epidermal, some become vascular, some be, become ground, and each of them got different functions. Okay, so... That's how permanent tissues are formed. They form from meristematic tissues. As they divide already, later they differentiate. They become specific. Just like when you grow older, you start, every one of us study different things to become different profession, for example. Okay? So, uh, but yeah, as I said, I'm not going to go through permanent tissues. I you just read, go through their functions and all. So for today, our main focus is growth. So, uh, what, one thing I haven't mentioned here is right, lateral meristem, right? Just now we mentioned you've got two rings, right? The inner ring is called vascular cambium, and the outer ring is called cord cambium, which later we'll learn about it. Lah. Okay. Now, primary growth first. Lah. So primary growth, the shoot tip, this is the shoot tip, and this is the root tip. Okay, so these are the apical meristem tissue, which consists of meristem cells. Now, first thing is, you must know how to label these three zones. You can see you got X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. So from shoot, right, we go like this, huh? and from root, is like that. Because root, the tip is at the bottom one. Huh? Shoot, the tip is on the top. Okay? So, uh, oops. First, so my notes here, right, I put it in like question form like that. Huh? So we, instead of just, I highlight, highlight, highlight everything, we get to write together. Uh, so it can be easier for us to, to revise and remember. Okay, number one, name the growth zone X, Y, Z. So those who just came in, come in, come on, come on, page four. Uh, if you've got the notes already, page four. If you don't have, try to write down with me. Okay, go write only can remember. You just, if you just stare at me, you cannot remember anything. Right, uh? Okay, uh? don't have notes, please write down together. Uh? Okay, so... Shoots and root, there are many three zones. Right? The first zone is what? Zone of? Come on, come on, let's do this together. Come on, zone of what? Cell. First zone is zone of growth. Hey, uh, 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 Anusha, your number two and number three is correct, but the first one is wrong. Cell division. <laughs> so to grow, you need to divide. So the cells here, so basically divide, divide, divide non-stop. So it's called zone or cell division, same down here. Lah. Okay, so by the way, this is X, Y, Z. So this is how the cells look like at each zone. So at the first zone, the cell just divide mitosis non-stop. Okay, ah? now number two, zone of 
So after when the cell divide already, what they do next? Now they start to become big. They start to expand. So this is called zone off. Yeah, a lot of you are already very impatient already. Yeah. You're like, it's not so easy. I like, write all the answers. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's zone off. Cell elongation. All right. Now, Zach. Uh, last one. Okay, so here we are. Zone off. Cell. Okay, yes, correct. Different. So just now we just mentioned differentiation this thing, right? So at the last zone, once the cell finished forming already, it will start to differentiate to become permanent tissue. So at the third zone, right, these baby cells will start to grow into got function punya cell, permanent punya tissues. Get it? All right, so we're going to continue. Now, then we need to agat nola, the function of each growth zone. So the function is just is related to the name exactly. Even. So number one, the cell divide. Why? Why you want to divide? Of course, you want to increase the number of cells. Yes, but why I want to increase the number of cells? Got more cells than how? Why I want more cells? What's the function of having more cells? What does more cells uh, give me? Who can tell me that? Why do we want more cells? For growth, exactly. It's the same as human, right? How do we grow? By having more cells? Oh. Okay. Increase in size, length. Uh, yeah, you also can say increase the length. If, okay, if you look at, at actual questions, right? if they show you shoot for that particular question, then you can say, yeah, to increase the length of shoot. If they show roots, you also can say increase the length of roots. Actually, also can. Yeah, obviously increase length also can for this thing. Okay, next. Elongate, very simple. So for, for my students, right, we just did this in class. Right? So long, long means like grow, the size. So it's just basically two. As you can see in the picture here at Y, the cell become bigger, right? So they increase the size of cells. Because as the cell grow, then you grow. Okay, I'll uh, that one later first. I haven't reached that part yet. Later we will explain. Okay. Ah, I'm too so excited first. Ah. Okay, Zach. So Zach, as you look at the diagram, they start to differentiate. They start to become, got function, different, different cells already. Right? Okay, so we write that this, this one. So it's basically to uh, differentiate, differentiate into, you can say, specialized cells with, specific function. So every cell here is specialized. Like they, they, got, they got their own role. Okay, it's like, you know, doctor is to <laughs> give people medicine, cure people sickness. Very specific, very specialized function. Ah, so every occupation got specific roles. Think about the cells here, where every is very specialized, got their own specific function. C. Take the cells involved in the growth zone and its characteristics. Uh, okay. The cells involved. All right. Can you guys name me what are the cells here? I didn't go mention one just now. What are the cells here? They have a name. They are not called root cells, shoot cells. It's a very specific name. Yes, Patrick. Correct. We mentioned already, right? Meristematic tissue got meristematic cells. So since here is meristematic tissue, should it really are meristematic tissues? So the cells is the same name. Lah. Meristematic cells. Moving on, next one. Uh, state the cells involved in growth zone X. So growth zone X, uh, the, 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 sorry, the cells. Oh, I'm reading the same question. The characteristics, I'm so sorry. So, okay, who remembers the characteristics of these cells? So remember these cells, they are baby cells. They, they all look the same. Yeah, so what, what, how, how are they the same? What are their characteristics? Who remember? <clears throat> so if they are baby cells, right, number one, all of them have a very thin layer of cell wall. <clears throat> baby, ma, so you're thin, no? Okay, another thing is, it's not very obvious. So now you guys to look. Okay, sometimes the answer is right in front of you, right in the diagram. Right? 
So if you look at these two diagram, this cell and the cell that forms in the cell elongation later, zone of cell elongation later, what's the, the most obvious difference you can see? The most obvious difference you can see between the cell in X and Y. Besides the size, of course. Yes, correct. Jacqueline, uh, Patrick, Melka, Josh Steyer, and Queen E, the vacuum. Besides bigger, right? You can see the vacuum. See, this one's this one big vacuum here. This one don't have actually got lot, but it's very small. Where you can't really see it. So you see small vacuum. The vacuum really haven't grown yet. The cell is very small. And one more you can say is large nucleus, even though you don't really see it here, huh? But they actually have a large nucleus because the nucleus mainly helps in cell division. So since they are actively dividing cells, the nucleus is slightly bigger. This is more active. Okay. D, how the cells in growth zone Y increases in size. Oh, okay. So now the size, you know, we talk about the size. Yeah, it's bigger here. So the size bigger is mainly actually due to the vacuum. Because the vacuum becomes big, then it becomes bigger. Okay, but can you guys tell me or not? For the vacuum to become big, what does it absorb? So I think most of you should know what's inside a vacuum. What does it absorb? It absorbs exactly water. So we're going to say that a lot. How the cells increase in size is by absorbing water and nutrients. Then the small vacuums. So at the beginning, the vacuums are vacuums. So it's plural. There's a lot of oops, a lot of small vacuum, not just one. So we say the small vacuums, vacuums merges to form large vacuum. Yeah, you can say by osmosis also because yeah, I'm absorbing water. And then we name this process. So small vacuum become large vacuum. The process, remember, is called? Yes, it's called vacuum lation. So we iterate true vacuum So that is what we did explain. Okay. So here, by the way, I prepare like a few common questions. You'll see them asking for primary growth. Now, honestly, primary growth, right? The questions they can ask is not a lot because it's very simple only their things. Okay, yeah. So we'll do one example question now. So I briefly let's show you like how question will ask lah for this part. Okay. So let's look at uh pitch. Very simple one, uh, pitch 22. The questions are of course slightly different than in front. Uh, so I briefly I'll show you what kind of other questions they can ask, but it's a very simple one. <laughs> right, eight. Name the type of Mary's Tamadi tissues found in the above diagram. So what is the type of tissues found? Mary's Tamadi. Now there's two Mary's Tamadi tissues you mentioned earlier just now. So the Mary's Tamadi at this should tip is called. Yes. Jacqueline, yes. Ingen, yes. Patrick, very good. Apical. So here we mentioned already lah. Got two type of Mary's thematic. So they show you should tip. So there is this one. Lah. So that's the meal type of Mary's thematic. Ah. Then what is the type of growth shown above? So what kind of growth? Primary, of course, exactly. Now, this kind of rule of cells in zone P. So, okay, can you guys tell me you know, what the cell do here?
the cell divides, right? Yes, exactly. So no cell division, right? okay. So the role here, very simple, like most of you know already, is to mitosis. But now three marks is quite a lot. So you need to mention one by one. So first, we need to say the cells, like I wrote for you, it's not in front, right? Zone of cell division, what do they do? Though? So the cell here divide actively by my cost. Why? So we just now also got re written in front. I divide, so I got more cells. So, so it's basically to increase the number of cells. But why? Why I need more cells? So I think some of you will mention, uh, for what? Yes, grow. Lah. Or since this question is showing you should, you can say to increase the length of should also can. So we write this one now. To increase the length of shoots. Z. Vaculation is a process that occur in zone Q. What is meant by vaculation? So we just written it in front, right? Exactly the same thing, right? So vacuation is what? Your vacuum, ching, and boom. <laughs> so they just, they just allow merge to become big. But before they merge to become big, right? The vacuum does what first? So like we mentioned, this, right? Vacuum mainly is store water one. Ma. So you can first say the vacuum absorbs water and Minerals to increase in size. So they start to become bigger and bigger, then they will merge and it become big. So same like just now, huh? This one exactly also the small vacuum. Uh, what they do merges to form large vacuum. Huh? Come right yourself. You want to copy one? Okay. Huh? Now, what is the importance of vacuation during growth? Okay, so why my vacuum won't become big? Vacuum big, become big got, got what importance? So what do you guys think? Why does the vacuum become big? And how, for growth, how does it help grow? The cell become turgid. Um, but turgy is more of like support, right? So you just say third, but for growth, right? We just say la, it is two. In, yeah, you can say become turgy, like okay, we, we write both la, huh? So you can say so so that the cell becomes turgy and increase the size la, mainly of course. So vacuum big, the size is so big. So that's, that's how the cell become big. Is by, you know, called, uh, relying on the, the, on the vacuum to absorb water, push it, become big. Okay, last one. Now I want you guys to think a bit. They say, state the shape and structure of cells in zone R. So first I ask you this. Uh, do you think the shape and structures of the cell in zone R are the same or not? Are the cells here the same or the cells here? Yes or no, guys? Come on, everybody try to give me your answer. What do you think? Yes or no? Do you think it's the same or not? Okay, all of you say, very good. No. Why no? So what caused them to be not same? Yes, exactly. They already undergo what? the dif Yes, differentiation. They differentiate already. So that's why they are different. That's why they're not the same. Huh? That's how we remember huh? zone of cell differentiation. Huh? So yes, they are all, they have exactly checking correct. They all become specialized cells already. They're all different. If you ask P and Q, then yeah, of course they are the same. They are baby. But here different really, right? Ah, like, like last time, all of us, we study the same thing. We study BM, BI, Sejara, Biochem, Physics. Okay? But when you come to uni, all of us study different, right? Some study engineering. Huh? Some study doctor, medicine. Depends, right? So, you can say the ship, you can say uh the cells have 
specific and structure or you can say have different shape and structure to carry out different specific function. Ah. So the question didn't ask you to explain, but they just say state only, ma. so they are all different. But if they ask you to explain why, because the cells have, here's the explanation, ah, have undergone the differentiation to become specialized cells. If they ask you to explain, uh, but this one they didn't, say, they didn't ask you to explain. Uh, so the shape and structure, they are different. Uh, they are specific. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, okay, this one we try another one. Okay, this one, even though like for my students, like, we did this before, right, but then I want to just mention one time because quite important one. You can try to look at page 24 once you're done. Okay, this thing, the drawing one. Uh, so draw the difference of vacuum in zone one and zone two. So obviously, the, the which, which vacuum is bigger? Bigger. Obviously, which vacuum is bigger? So very easy, right? Of course, zone. Which one's bigger? One or two? Uh, as you draw one and two, you vacuum. Uh, who vacuum bigger? Of course, it's zone two. Uh, right. So we will say, I mean, we will draw the nucleus first. So zone one, you're going to have many tiny vacuums, something like that you can draw. And in zone two, the vacuum, like that. Ah, that's how you draw. Okay, let me try one more. Question seven. Okay, you draw this first. Do we need to label this one? Don't need lah. They didn't ask us to label, but unless they say draw and label, then yeah. If you question us to label, then only we need to label. Then this one. Okay. A, you do yourself, uh, same thing, uh, zone, 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 they want it easy. Uh. So B, one point two shows the type of cell that can be found in the shape of a plant. Now, which growth zone does the cell in 1.2 can be found? Explain your answer. So zone of cell division, elongation, differentiation, one, two, three. So which zone, one, two, three, this cell can be found? What do you think? It's quite simple also, actually. Come on, guys. Yes, yes, it's definitely. Uh, those who answer all very good, all correct, zone three. Lah. Because this is definitely not like meristematic, because meristematic is all squarish. Look the same. Okay. If is zone two, the new the, the vacuum will be slightly bigger. Okay, like that. That's the difference. But when zone three, there are many different types. Remember, they are different shape. So so long it's not squarish and big vacuum, then definitely is zone three. So, uh, but this one definitely is xylem. It's a xylem. Okay, so definitely is zone three, you know? So no cell differentiation. No? So explain your answer because this is a uh specialized cell. Eh? Okay, because uh, the cell in 1.2 has undergone special differentiation to form a specialized cell, which is a xylem cell. Okay. Okay. Then I want you to I want you to try this one with yours also. Because even though it's something that's not where we learn in this chapter, but it's related to what we learned in your form four before. Okay, next one. Uh, what is the cell organization? Next page, huh? sorry here, page 26. What is the cell organization level of a leaf? 
So do you all know how to answer this one or not? Some of you all, I did this question with you recently only. Remember or not? How do I answer this question? Cell organization level. Why I, I, I will repeat this quite a few times because this is something very easy and a lot of you don't know. So if they, if they ask you cell organization level, yes, Jacqueline, correct? It's the cell tissue organ system, that one. So leaf is what? Cell tissue organ system is an organ. Ah, ah. The answer is organ. So cell tissue organ. Now, how do I know it's an organ? So explain. Now the explanation actually is just the definition of organ. So when I look at leaf, how come I know it's organ? Because Because what? How do I know it's an organ? So like I say, stomach is an organ. Brain is an organ. If I look at it, why do I know it's an organ? What makes it an organ? Because, yes, you got to talk about what is it made up of. It is made up of, okay, don't say cell and tissue. Tissues can already. Okay, made up of the previous level, made up of. And in, a, in an organ, right, you have different tissues. Yes, different tissues. You have See, you got the palisade mesophyll, you got the spongy mesophyll, you got vascular, you got the epidermis, you got different, different tissues forming an organ, right? Made up of different tissues. Then the second point, which work together, EGT here is together to carry out specific function. Okay, come back to our notes. Page number five now. Type of plant growth again. So primary we're done already. Now secondary. Okay, so first we go through the difference first. Lah. Now you can see the notes here might be the same as like what we did in class, but I put a lot of blank lah, so we were like write to revise that instead of just highlight, highlight everything. Lah. So I think we write a lot of things lah, like I say. So difference primary, secondary growth, uh, of course, when does it occur? Primary growth occurs after germination, means when the plant germinate, it will start the primary growth. Lah. So when the seed germinate, it will start to grow the roots, grow the shoot, like what we just did in chapter five. When right, seed germinate, they should go up, root go down. So that is primary growth, right? increase the length. Now, secondary growth, of course, is after primary, right? Like primary school already, then secondary. That's simple. You grow tall already, then become thick. So just how we mentioned it, right? increase length, increase diameter. And then primary growth occurs at the apical meristem, at the tip we mentioned already. Secondary occurs at the lateral, which is two, 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 two wings. Right? A vascular and a cord can be later. We will do, do this now. Primary growth and secondary growth occurs in what kind of plants? All plants for primary and perennial for secondary. If you're wondering what is perennial, now later we will do we will, we will mention this. But perennial plants are generally plants that live for more than two years and uh, they are mainly woody plants, so that's why you like. I mentioned just now, I'm not sure. <laughs> That's why we only see uh, woody plants that are thick. Okay, you don't see, uh, not woody plants, uh, what do I remember what I say? Yeah, woody plants are usually thicker than non woody because they are the only, they, they are the one that can only undergo secondary. And usually they live very long, more than two years. Okay, later we do this. Uh. Then primary growth is limited, unlimited for secondary. So this is like human and that. Since primary growth is in, increased in height length, just like human, there's a limit of how tall we can grow. Correct? Same. But there's no limit of how wide you can grow. Same like plants. The more you eat, the wider you become. And the last one is the growth curve. So the growth curve is a typical sigmoid curve, S-shaped curve that like you see in human also. Sigmoid. Secondary is an annual series of sigmoid. Meaning every year the sigmoid will repeat. 
since secondary can occur for many years, like we mentioned, more than two years, as I it will keep on repeating. But of course, over the years, it will get slower and slower. Lah. Hmm. So straight away, we come here. Secondary growth, when your process. But before we go to secondary growth, right? Okay, let's mention a bit about primary growth first. Because you can see, right? You, the, the primary growth stem and root structure is very different than secondary growth. Because once you undergo secondary growth, you form all the, the extra tissues here. So before that, this is how a stem and root look like during primary growth. And since it's only primary growth, right? They have very basic tissue only, which is primary xylem, phloem, and cortex. Okay, because they are still young, they don't produce a lot of uh, specific complicated tissue. So only a basic punya xylem, basic punya phloem, and cortex. So in a, this is stem, uh, and this is the root. So this one you all should know already. Lah. Xylem always in the inside, phloem always on the outside. But since this is primary growth stem, that's why the root, the, the xylem and phloem, we call it primary xylem, primary phloem. Understand? And then what is cortex? Cortex is the meat, not the flesh. So below the skin, below the epidermis, you have cortex. Right? Then inside it, you have phloem and xylem. So these are the three things you must not label. Lah. And of course, between the phloem and xylem, you've got the ring that we mentioned just now called vascular cambium. However, this ring during primary growth haven't stick together yet. Later you will stick together. Now, not yet. So vascular cambium, by the way, is the one that forms your xylem and phloem, and it's also the tissue that separates the xylem and phloem. Okay? Mm. Then... This one. Uh, roots. Now, root, like I told you before, even the structure look completely different, right? But you just remember the position. Xylem is always on the inside. Phloem is always on the outside. So it might look completely different, but we remember position. And vascular cambium is between the xylem and phloem, as always. And then your flesh, your meat, is the cortex. Oh. Ah, then your skin epidermis. See. Okay. So here I will add another thing that last time my notes don't have one, is the root punya structure after secondary growth. That time, I only teach your step, right? But however, I got see quite quite a lot of, quite question, a lot of questions they ask root. Even it's not very common, but yeah, we will, we will go through it. Lah. Okay, so um, first you can see, now in secondary growth, you're going to focus on the two rings, the cambium, the, cor the vascular cambium, which now becomes the cambium ring, and the crop cambium, the two rings. So for the... For the just now primary growth, right, we focus on the apical meristem, the shoot tip and root tip. So lateral meristem is the one that involves secondary growth, which is the two wings. Lah. So like I told you just now, when these two things undergo mitosis, you will form inner layer cell, outer layer cell, same over here, and that's how it becomes big. Okay? But before all of this happen, Gary okay, written here, the first thing that happened is your vascular cambium mitosis form cambium ring. So from the start until the end, uh, mitosis is something that is going to keep on repeating because mitosis, they only got growth. Uh. Like I say, when these two ring mitosis, they'll form one inner layer and one outer layer tissues. So total, there'll be four new tissues you're going to, we're going to uh, mention over here because uh, Cambrian will form one inner and outer. They also will form one inner and outer. So let me summarize this whole thing first. Uh, to easily remember this thing, okay, this is how I will teach you all. So the two rings, vascular, cambium, and heart cambium. So vascular cambium will first mitosis to form the ring first. Cambium ring. And cambium ring will then only mitosis to form one inner and outer. So the new inner and the new outer tissue are just called secondary xylem and secondary phloem. So remember, I just don't go primary phloem, primary xylem. Now it's just secondary though. 
Then for core cambium, it's already a ring. So you don't need purposely mitosis to form a ring. So they straight away, mitosis form one inner and outer also. So the inner one is called secondary cortex. And the outer one is called cork, which eventually forms the bark of the tree, means the, the skin of the woody stem. All right. So that's the, that's the whole thing. Summarize in just like what few words there. Okay. Now, by this thing, you can ask for an essay, like around 8 to 10 marks like that. So by remembering this, you can write 8 to 10 marks. Okay, but how are you going to write it? Okay, like I say first, uh, mitosis form cambium ring first. Okay. Then the cambium ring will, uh, as you can see, mitosis to form inner and outer tissue. Now, before I write down, uh, now I will make sure you must know how to label this thing. So, look at this one first. So this was primary xylem, primary blood work. When I want to form secondary xylem that time, right? The secondary xylem, okay, erase everything first, will form like this, oh, because the ring mitosis to form the new tissue. Once the mitosis form the tissue, right? Then you got secondary xylem here. So the primary xylem will be pushed inwards. Same with the flow work. The, the secondary xylem phloem will grow like that. So pushing the primary flow outwards. So you just need to remember, primary will always will be pushed further away from the ring. Secondary will always be closer. Okay, so secondary will be closer, primary will be further. As you can see here, your secondary xylem here and secondary flow here. Primary xylem being pushed inside already. You see, they, they label here already. And your primary flow we push outside. So you just remember further away primary, closer secondary. Understand? Can? Hmm. Then let's let's explain this. Can right guys understand right? Know how to label which is which? Ah, primary further secondary closer. Or can I do understand? Yeah. Hmm. All right, so the cambium ring, okay, I'll type for you. Lah. What were you say? The cambium ring then undergoes my, uh, undergoes, yeah, same lah, mitosis, or you can say continue mitosis, also the same. To form secondary xylem and secondary work. Okay, not yet finished yet. So once you mention these two, of course, consider one mark each. Then all, oh, your secondary xylem will form another thing. So don't forget to write this also. You see the Secondary xylem then forms yeah the leg uh, this one forms root mm. so remember we said that only woody plants have secondary growth. That is because only through secondary growth, you can form wood. Because only through secondary growth, you will have secondary xylem. And then secondary xylem actually is made up of wood. So prime, those plants that don't undergo, don't undergo uh, secondary growth, right? they won't have secondary xylem, means they won't have wood. Because wood, yeah, as we mentioned many times, is thickened by this thing called lignin. Lignin is basically fiber. Wood fiber. Get it? Mm. So you could explain that they are made out of lignin, which since wood is hard, as we know, it provides mechanical support. Okay, so woody plants are generally more stable, more stronger. Lah. Next, the cork can be same. So it will mitosis form one inner layer and one outer layer tissue. The inner layer you can see is called secondary cord. So I form another layer of flesh inside, and then cork is the outside one. So same, we will say 
the core cambium also divides or you say undergoes mitosis to form uh inside when you have secondary cortex and outside cord. Okay, then the cork will then form something for the bark. So eventually the cork was I saw become harder and thicker, which is the bark, the outer skin of a tree that we touch up as the rough, rough, thick, thick structure. So bark, of course, is thick. So the, is the important function of this is waterproof to prevent water loss. So this is thick. Mark. Now, other than prevent water loss, okay, once you finish copying it, right? The next page also will briefly explain other functions regarding the bark. So this is very strong, very thick, especially. It doesn't just prevent water loss. You see here also, it also can protect against insect invasion, insect from biting it, and also protect it against external temperature. Like if it's too cold or too hot, yeah, this thing can protect it. That simple. Okay, and done. Ah, so you just remember this thing that I draw for you. Of course, behind here, I could form one more wood and uh, bark. The bark is here. Hmm. Very simple. I summarize for you already. Now let's look at the roots right now. So primary brunial roots is this, same as this. The secondary one is a bit different than stem. Now uh, this is like the undergo secondary growth halfway. Then this one with the 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 complete secondary group. But I found that if you look at this picture, it'd be very confusing. So I think you straight away like draw this one. You can ignore this actually because question will only ask this one. This one is in your textbook. But like I say, this one will be more important. Okay, so we, we look at this one one more time. So you can see your primary xylem is in the middle. Okay, this primary xylem, right? You didn't draw like, like this one here. So this one is like a cross like that, right? Okay, because this one, right, is actually like this. Don't know how to explain. I draw, then you understand. So it's actually like that. It's actually the same. So the shape a bit pattern on me. So when you change color, you can see more carefully. Like that. More clearly. Understand? Can, yeah, yeah. It's like a cross, like an ambulance like that. Exactly. So that's where your primary xylem is. Then here's your primary floma. This one dot. Two dot, three dot, four dot, and then actually, right, you have okay. When I draw this back again, so this line that I'm drawing is actually the vascular cambium, and your primary xylem is actually inside here. So they go label the line here, and then the vascular cambium. See, ah, so during secondary growth, your primary come out draw ah, your primary xylem is still there, same place, never move. Question might ask you to draw. There's a small chance for it. Okay. Then your secondary xylem is here. Your vascular cambium will be here. So same like the, 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 the stem, right? Secondary xylem is inside a primary xylem is inside secondary xylem is closer to the ring okay then what about your flow so just like just now same your primary flow we push further away right and then your secondary flow is closer to the ring so your secondary your primary flow i see these four dots this one two three four we push all the way until the end over here so it will be something like that. See here, it's pushed halfway until here already. So basically, you push all the way until here in the end, which is one, two, three, four. So your secondary flow is actually here. This whole thing is secondary flow. So I label for you. Primary xylem. Secondary xylem. Vascular cambium. It's 
secondary photo, primary photo. Can not. So same you can see the the flow the primary flow further away the primary is also further away from the ring then closer to the ring one is your secondary, ah uh, done. Okay, little bit more things we go through, then we will do secondary growth question. Okay, yeah, come on, come on. Page seven, the importance. So primary growth, secondary growth, what importance? So just now we already mentioned. See this one. Okay, use another color. Huh? One, two, three. So primary growth is for the plant to increase the length. But increasing the length, there are two ways. One is become tall, go up. One is become long, go down. So this right here is one is achieve maximum height. So if the shoot can grow up, it's of course for sunlight to carry out photosynthesis. Root is to go down because you want to, of course, absorb water and mineral salt. Law. Okay, then. Besides becoming long, right? So you can see, right? As the plant becomes long, it needs xylem and flow to transport water and the, 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 the organic substance, the glucose. Okay, so you need basic punya phloem and basic punya xylem. That's why it's called primary phloem, primary xylem. So since the plant is still young, still small, so the xylem phloem they form, they, they, they form is called primary, which is basic punya, basic xylem, basic phloem. And secondary, same as just now, increase diameter. As you become thicker, you'll be more stable. And other than that, it's not just becoming thick to increase the base area, but as you become thick, you have wood, which makes you also stronger. Okay. And they say here, produce secondary phloem, secondary xylem. So what's the purpose of secondary phloem and xylem? Because as the plant goes bigger, you need more xylem, more phloem to increase the demand of water, mineral, and organic substance. Meaning as you grow bigger, right, you need more water, more organic substance. So that's why you need more phloem, more xylem. Also, this is what the secondary phloem and xylem is for. Okay. All right, then bark, we already mentioned uh, the function just now. Okay. Mm. Now the last thing here, annual growth rates. So we will go mention this before uh, for my students. Uh, it's basically like the rings at the stem. And we all know, right, this is basically to count the age, estimate the age of a tree. So as I told you before, not every tree, we can use the rings to count the age. Right? Only plant that can undergo secondary growth, meaning only woody plant. Because the rings that you're looking at are secondary xylem. Ah, so you can undergo secondary growth for secondary xylem, then only you have the rings. Okay? Number two. Uh, okay, who remember or not? Not necessarily your woody plants you can you, you, you can form the rings. Usually what region, where plants at which area only can form this 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 uh annual growth rings. Only where? Only summer, spring, okay, meaning those kind of Four seasons, those temperate regions, those places have four seasons because these rings are produced, different color rings are produced according to different seasons. Okay, so you must have temperate, lah, must have season, seasonal region, lah, you would say. Yeah, so Malaysia Punya tree, if you cut it, you'll probably just get one brown color patch inside the stem because Malaysia from <laughs> your Beginning of year and year end is the same the weather, it's the same climate, it's just hot, right? So you won't have different rings because different color rings, I say, form due to different season. So basically, spring, early of the year, whereby usually the condition is more suitable, the plant will grow better. 
And year end, whereby usually is colder, it's less suitable, and the plant doesn't grow very well. Now, however, I want to mention this thing, right? In our textbook, they say during spring is good condition. And this one, they write as summer, which I don't really agree because summer actually is quite suitable for plant to grow. Summer is like our weather here, right? Plant grow very well. So if you want to write summer, right? Actually, you must say late summer as the weather starts to become cold as I move towards autumn. Hmm. But I still think it should be winter because, right, if you remember, right, the perennial plants we learned here, right? If you look at our text, right here, they say winter. But I don't know why there, then you say it's not winter. So, yeah, now my life, we just write late summer over here. Like, we own self no can already. All right. So, during spring, early of the year, this is where flower usually bloom. Usually, the weather is suitable for plant to grow. That's why we will say the vascular cambium is more active because now it's more suitable condition. Okay. And you have more secondary growth. So guys, if your growth increase, which ring do you think I will form? Will I form the thicker one or the thinner one? Thicker one or thinner one? Which one do I form? If you grow more, yes, of course it's thick oh. Right? And the color you can see is brighter. So write both. Brighter is mainly due to more water. Because if you grow more, you absorb more water. Is it your color is brighter. When compared to the year end one, it's the opposite. So as it becomes colder, the vascular cambium will be less active. There'll be less growth. And the ring opposite, oh, since not much growth, you don't grow a lot. Your, 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 your xylem will be thinner. Plus, there's less water inside it. It'll be drier. Yes, that's why it'll be darker. Just like when the leaf dry already, they become brown color, darker color one, right? Same thing, though. Understand? Mm. So, that, but okay, let's say this, they ask essay. Like, I've seen before they show like that, and they ask or explain uh, how do we estimate the age of tree. So you can say by using something called the annual growth rate. So you explain this already, same thing during spring, blah, 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 which will give you around three marks each. Okay, then one more. So this one will give you one mark. You mentioned the name. Then the last point you have to say, right? Because you mentioned how the rings are formed, right? You still haven't explained like the age. How do I count the age? So you can say, uh, every alternate. Okay, I forgot the exact word with that. Here. Uh, you can write this. Okay, every, not Everest, every alternate growth of thinner and thicker xylem vessels represent one growth year. Yes, so that's how we explain now. Alternate means thin duck, one year, thin duck, thin duck, blah. thin and thick, one year, thin and thick, one year. Blah. Because the thicker one is beginning of year, thinner one is at the end of the year. So thick and thin, one year. Blah. Ah, so just continue, 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 continue. And then, oh. One point three. Okay, done already. Eh, sorry, we haven't, we haven't do question yet. What am I thinking? Uh, done. Copy finish already. Okay, we look at question secondary growth question. Uh, we start with question um. Okay, two. You can see the drawing one. Same as just now, ah. Uh. So you draw yourself, ah. Uh. Okay, this question you can try yourself. 
and we do question three. Labeling super simple. Now, two by one shows a cross section of a U dicot roots undergoing primary growth. Name part L and M. Okay, can you tell me what's L first, guys? L is what? L, L, L. L is the. Hey, why got ah, primary or secondary? Is what? See carefully. <laughs> it's primary, guys. What could people quite a few say secondary? Primary is inside, ma. Xylem, primary one is always inside, ma. So here's your, here's your ring. Xylem is inside. So secondary closer to the ring, primary further. Flowworm also same. Secondary closer to the ring, primary further. So the inside one, of course, is primary, ma. Okay. Yes. Plus the question state primary growth. Exactly. That's why this is definitely just primary. There's no secondary. Because this is if it's secondary, right? It will look like this, ma. Secondary like this, right? Ching, completely different. All right. Mm, so this is so secondary, right? You must look at the at, if it's secondary, you must see this flow. Um, secondary, right? Flow will be outside here. Right? Ah, so obviously it's primary, lah, huh? Now M, M is pointing here. M is a part of the, 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 the root is this the flesh. So the flesh is what? Cortex. Yes. Function of K. So K is pointing at what? Huh? Can you guys tell me? Is the primary flowworm, right? So flowworm lah, flowworm in general, that's what doesn't doesn't matter if it's primary or secondary right? flowworm, yes, transport organic substance. Ah. So don't ever write transport food, ah. I say many times the ah. organic substance. The eudicot plant undergoes secondary growth. Explain the secondary growth process experienced by the roots of the eudicot. But now this is just two marks. So you don't have to explain like the whole thing like we did in front just now. Two marks on him. And uh, we focus on primary xylem, secondary xylem, not the inner ring. Uh, because we have two rings, right? We have inner ring, outer ring. So we just focus on inner ring. Can you two marks on him. So the inner ring call. Inner ring is called cambium ring. Okay, but we write the general name can you really vascular cambium. So cambium ring, this word, right? We only will use it in essay actually when explaining the whole the whole process. So other than you just write the general name, vascular cambium, good enough already. Undergoes mitosis to form outer inner lock which is secondary xylem and secondary flowworm. Next, um, you can also say no matter what plant you are, as you undergo secondary growth, you will become thick, right? So you can say, and causing the root to increase in diameter. Okay, now this one later we draw huh, when, we, when we go through the growth curve. Okay, so we do another one first, fast, fast. Can I guys this one? Okay, uh, okay. Uh. All right. Uh, page. One more we do. Uh, 
you know, this one, uh, 27. In class, we go do this before one. Ah, now I can just try one more time. Name tissue X and what? Tissue X, what? Tissue X, what? So X, okay, see carefully, X point what? Come on, come on, come on. After a bit, then we won't feel sleepy, come. X is this. Okay, must say what phloem, ah. So very obvious, there's two phloems here, ah. ah. So make it a habit. When you do this kind of growth question, if you say growth one, yeah, must primary, yeah, primary, okay? Primary, lower. Why they're pointing at this and this? So which one you should write? Cambium ring or vascular cambium? We write vascular cambium. Like I say, vascular cambium is the general name. So we will use vascular cambium. Okay? Yes, vascular cambium. Like I say, unless we are actually assay, then only we will say vascular cambium, mitosis, bomb cambium. Other than that, we don't need to mention that. A2, explain the role of tissue Y in diagram 2 above. All right. So we just only did it just now, right? Vascular cambium, what does it do? First, undergoes. Mitosis, yes. Same as all to form what the outer and inner tissue. So what's the two outer and inner tissue form? Ah, I'm sure you can do it, right? Secondary what and secondary what? Ah, come do. If don't know us, ah, but I'm sure. Oh, okay, ah, come right. Let's go. Okay, next, come. Name the type of growth in diagram two. Again, this one so easy. La. What growth is here? You can see, dung, 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 become thicker and thicker one. Ah, secondary growth. Ah, easy. La, huh? Secondary growth. Eh, quite wrong, indeed. Up here. <laughs> now, two importance of the growth in B1 to plants. So what's the importance of secondary growth? Secondary growth got two importance, right? So number one, the default one, yes, increase the diameter of plant. Some more? Form what? Provide mechanical support. Okay, yeah. From for mechanical support, can yeah. So you can see from wood to provide mechanical support. And we explain a bit. Lah. So wood is the one that makes it strong, basically. Explain the pattern form on a stem at the end of this tree in if it's in a four season country. So what, what pattern? What pattern are they talking about? What pattern, me? What's the pattern? Who can tell me? Yes, the pattern checking correct is the ring. Ah, ah yes, which is also correct. The ring is the annual growth ring. The bright and dark ring. Ah. So you're going to name the pattern. Ah. Ah, so that is the pattern, annual growth ring, the name of it. You <laughs> right, right, right in that better bring it wrong, ah. Huh? Okay, then we gotta explain. Now, since it's just structure, you can see right, one mark each, one mark for each ring. So don't have to explain too much. You just need to mention during what season got what kind of rings. Good enough already. So, for example, you say during spring, you can skip the uh what. Vascular can be more active, more secondary growth than heart, and still you say bigger and brighter. Don't write rings, ah, huh? xylem vessels are formed. Is 
more marks, like let's say four marks question, mean you need two explanations each, or let's say essay, you of course have to add during spring, the vascular can be more active, then you've got more secondary growth. Lah, huh? But since it's just one mark explanation, we can don't need to write that. So sometimes we can answer the question smartly. You know? The question is just that two marks, you just have to write two more. One mark, just write one point. Okay, so the opposite, during summer, what kind of rings do we get? Either. Okay, and darker. Again, not rings. I remind you one more time, ah, silent vessels. Part four. Okay. Zero. Okay, then um hmm, let me see. Uh, what about okay, this one uh, we see this test y'all. Okay, next page. 2.2 with the question uh, shows a longitudinal section of a root tip, and 2.2b shows the process which takes place in zone k. So what do you think the process shown here? Is it 2.2b occurs in 2.2a zone k? So what's the process is showing in, in the diagram 2.2b? Is it winter? I'm so sorry. Late summer. Uh, we follow textbook. Uh, the textbook says summer, late summer. Uh. Which I, because I scared right winter question don't, uh, you, a teacher don't accept. Because back to the textbook, they write summer. Like I told you just now, summer is a bit wrong. We write late summer or better. Uh. Follow textbook. Uh. Okay, mm. then here, a 2.2b, what process is this diagram showing? Can you guys, do you guys know what is it now? Yes, it's cell division. Yes, it's mitosis, correct? So here, if you look closely, right, they are showing actually different phases of mitosis. Like for example, you have anaphase, the cell splitting. You have a uh, metaphase, all the cell aligned at the equatorial plane. You have telophase, the, the nucleus split already. So this is actually mitosis. And zone K, by the way, is the first zone, right? The zone of cell division. So yes, the process shown is basically mitosis. The importance we mentioned already a lot to increase the number of cells for growth. But since they are showing root, we can say it to increase length of root. It's the same thing we did just now. Okay, so even though you don't know what is this, but you mentioned zone K, which is like the first zone, there's only one process that occurs at the first zone, zone of cell division, already say, uh, so cell division, not mitosis, no? And this, who can tell me what is this, by the way? This is not any zone, but it's an additional thing that covers the root tip. Yes, correct. This is called a root cap. Okay, just protect the root tip one. All right, back to notes. Last part already. We finish it, but do maybe just one, two more questions, then that's it. Go home, sleep. I mean, you can just uh, rest. Okay, now page number eight, 1.3, growth curves. So there are, this part right, is called type of plants based on life cycle. Now, because right here, right, the question, they always ask type of plant, type of plants. When you say type of plants, right, you all might think a type of plants go, only what type of plants? So you need to see carefully. If the question asks, life cycle or they say or it's a growth curve question then these are the three types annual biannual perennial annual means one biannual means two perennial not means three perennial means more than two means one year two years more than two years that is their life span annual means they only have one year lifespan so they grow within one year and then dies Final two years. Perennial, they take more than two years to grow. So they can live usually very long, some five, some 10, some even up to 100 years. So usually these perennial plants that have long lifespan, they're all woody plants. As look at the last point here, they say they're the only type of plants that undergo secondary growth, but not oh, Okay. Most of them can, but not all. Ah. Mm. And um, since the first two plants cannot undergo secondary growth, they therefore don't have all these that they're actually very small because why did you undergo secondary growth? Because secondary growth takes many years. 
the form of wu is that it takes many years, but you grow, you, you live like one, two years, then die, there's no time to secondary growth also. So the examples, annual plants, usually their shape is like that, whereby the most common example is corn and paddy. Other than that, you have pea. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying, right? This shape in your plant, <laughs> like a wheat shape like that. Other than that, you have pea and watermelon, green pea, yeah, no, uh, and watermelon. Now, biennial, the example, we just memorize this few can already because in our SPM standard, right, we won't ask a lot of biennial examples. So you just remember cabbage, carrot, and maybe you can add one more radish. So usually plants that grow on the surface of the soil. Okay, carrot, radish, cabbage. Two years. Perennial, basically all woody plants. Like any woody plants that you can think of. Okay, Maranti would be the harder example. So Maranti is an example like those kind of Trees where we use their wood as timber, like your furniture. Hard, hard strong vanilla wood, I usually mean Maranti, Jati, Oak. But this kind of example, like it's so hard to remember, right? Maybe for some of us, like it's so weird the name. So, do you guys know any more simpler example? Nah, that's your own. Basically, what else can we write? Okay, I'll give you a hint. Usually, the fruits that we eat come from woody plants. Woody are perennial. So, example of fruits that come from woody plants. Ah, if you manage to name me, then that's the example. What? what? <laughs> Durian, oh, huh? some more, a lot. Mango, no? uh, rambutan, no? papaya. No? Ah, so many. Banana is not, ah. <laughs> banana is not woody, ah. So banana is not really a perennial plant. Okay. So durian, mango, ah. Banana is few. All right. So let's start with annual, annual, annual plant first. So for annual plant, the most important thing and the most common thing they like to ask is explain what happened in the growth in these zones. So you have four zones over here. They'll divide it into. So you only have one sigmoid curve. So by the way, just that you know first, annual plant will have one sigmoid. Biennial will have two sigmoid because two years. And perennial, which is how we say already, annual series of sigmoid. So for annual plants, right, zone A and zone D will be the most important one. That's what question will usually ask. But behind, if you look at my questions, right, I got one essay asking about zone B. So which they have possibly to ask also that question. Yeah, but never mind, we do A first. Very important. Okay, if they ask you to explain growth at each of the stages, talk about the dry mass first. The mass. As you can see at A, number one, the dry mass decreases. Why? Why when they, they first start to grow, the mass decrease? Human baby is grow big one. Why did they grow small? Yes, Felicia, very good. Exactly correct. Yes, Jacqueline, correct. Yes, in Shen, very good. So it's germination. No? Okay, so now if you don't understand what happened here is a seed, when they germinate that time, every time we look at them, like last time in primary school, you play the, the, the green bean and you plant that time, right? When the seed germinate, right, the seed will then start to shrink and then leaf will come out at that. So why does the seed will shrink? Because inside is basically food. Seed don't have leaf. They don't know how to, they cannot photosynthesize to produce their own food. One. So they will absorb the food inside to grow. Just like when you're inside your mother's stomach at that time, you, you also cannot find your own food. One, you absorb food nutrients from the placenta. So this is like their placenta like that. Understand or not? So we will say the food storage in seed is used for germination. And we add one more point. The seed coat will drop. So you can say dispersal of seed coat occurred. So as the seed becomes empty, then the skin will drop. Though. C O A T. Okay. 
Extend the growth or at stage B. So this year, I'll, I'll give you five marks. Huh? Okay, so we know the mass then start to increase. As they say, because the plant carry out photosynthesis, causing the growth rate to increase. But before we mention photosynthesis, right now you can explain a bit why suddenly they can photosynthesis and grow a lot. Because as you germinate, right, what you start to form. Yes, they start to form leaves. Very good. Imagine the leaf first. You got leaf, you become heavier, <laughs> of course. Then you photosynthesis. When you photosynthesis, so one, two, three, uh, you can produce glucose. Then the growth rate increases. Give you another point here, number six. Sorry, a bit messy. Yeah. Um, sugar are always produced in excess. So the extra sugar that you will store it, that's what causes them to be even heavier, cause they are meant to increase even more. So the excess glucose is stored. You know, they store in their leaves, store in their starch storage organs. Also got love. Then C, just like human, once you grow up to a certain age, you become mature, you cannot grow anymore. So stage C, ding, ding, remain constant. Growth rate zero because plant already mature. Explain the growth at stage D. Okay, this is the important one. So just like stage A, the mass decrease. Now, I know this is one year already, they will die in the end, but don't say the mass decrease because they die. That's not the main thing, the question why. But before they die, what they need to do? So, okay, besides dry mass decrease, right? Why? What happens at the end before they die? Uh, aging rate of the photosynthesis decrease is not the main point. I want you to remember this one first. If I say they ask other points, then we write that one. Lah. Ah, to be sure. But the main thing is what they do. They shed leaves, correct? And most importantly, yes, in Shen one, correct? They disperse seeds. Yes. So remember, since their life span very short, before they die, they go on a very important mission, which is to make sure they can reproduce for the next generation. And in order to do so, they need to, to produce seeds, ah, ah, produce fruits. So. so dispersal of fruit and seed occurs. And then, Uh, then when you say lah, uh, uh, leaves shed, uh, then you can say uh, aging occurs, but usually this tree will be more than enough for you, Okay, the leaves start to dry and then they shed. That's why when Paddy about to harvest that time, their leaves all become yellow because the leaves starting to dry, starting to shed. Yeah, that's what caused them the mess to also decrease. Once the, 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 the seed drop, to be even lighter, then they die. Then only they die after that. All right, biennial, next one. Now, biennial, one of the least asked one because biennial is like uh, nothing special. They won't ask you the zone by zone again because it's the same thing that happens here. So they won't ask the same thing. They will usually test you on that. And here, the most they will ask is just ask you to explain what happened at each year each growth season, first and second growth season. It means first and second year, what do they do? Now, first year is just normal growth. Just like just like the plant, they got leaf, got photosynthesis, produce sugar, produce food. Now, before the second year, if you notice here, right, you can see this decrease over here. Now, who can tell me what happens here? They become dormant, why? 
but you become dormant. Winter, correct? So this is end of the year. That's why just now in front of the annual growth ring, right? I will write winter. Because winter is where your growth not not active. But somehow for just now the annual growth ring, right? If you look at your textbook, right, they write summer. So we just follow that. I add the word late summer to make it more accurate. Mm. So here, winter they become dormant. So during the end of the first year, they will become inactive. And then second year only they continue to grow a bit more, and then they die. But second year, right, they will mainly focus on reproduction. Meaning second year, they will mainly form flowers, fruit, and seed. Then only they die. Okay. But yeah, assuming this biennial plant is in a four season country, then yeah, they will be dormant during the the, between the first year lah. but let's say if this is occurring in Malaysia then of course there will be no dormant lah. the growth curve will probably just be like that okay so number one we can say uh, during the first growth season the plant forms leaves carry out photosynthesis And most importantly, food is stored. Why this one important? Because next year, they're going to use this stored food to produce reproductive organs or reproductive structures, like fruit, flower, seeds. So second year, we write that, that the food stored is used to Produce these three things: so flower, fruits, seeds. Continue. Last one, perennial. So for perennial, uh, the usual you ask this. So besides asking the name of the of the of the of the growth curve, which is called annual series of sigma curve, they will ask you this. Look, every year you have sigmoid repeating, right? But then the question asks, why is there increase and decrease of growth every single year? So it's the same like the annual growth ring like that. Annual growth ring is affected by seasons. So because the growth is affected by seasons, same. So you can see every year is beginning of year, they increase one. And they decrease during the end of the year. So it's also because of spring and winter affecting the growth. That's why the growth curve like that. So by the way, remember, primary growth usually occur like first year like that. Then second year onwards will be mainly secondary. Okay, so why is there an increase decrease? So it's like writing the seasons off. So this one we write two mark explanation each. Lah. So during spring. Now this one don't need to be too specific. You don't have to say what vascular cambium and secondary growth because this is not asking about the ring. Because ring right, is mainly secondary xylem. That's why we only that's why we need to talk about vascular cambium and secondary growth. But for this one, we just talk about growth in general. So during spring, you can just say condition is more suitable. Hence, uh, the yeah, add one more for you. Like you can say there is more photosynthesis and growth rate increases. And the second one, can you write yourself? So here we can use the word winter now. This one is literally at the year end, so it's definitely winter. And opposite of condition is how? Less of. Photosynthesis also less growth rate decreases. Lah. Okay, can you write this first? Because I'm going to get water, so I've got no water already. So you write this. Once you're done, you can try to do question one, the first question. First, yeah, I'll come back with come back with and do with you all. Okay, go, go, go. 
Let's continue. Okay, done already, uh? Okay, let's look at uh, page number 19. 19. Continue this one. All right, so like it's a recap of everything we just did today. So number one, A, name, tissue, P, and Q. So look carefully here, this diagram. So you have plant tissues, meristem, tissue, and permanent tissue. So P is? P is? Apical, marriage stem, right? Ah, so you got lateral here already, ma. This one's apical law. Can ma. And then Q, ground tissue, vascular. What's the other one? So you got vascular means xylem, phloem. Ground is the support one, and then the no, surface one. Yeah, epidermal. Now, one tissue that forms vascular tissue. One tissue that forms vascular, vascular. Okay, so what's inside vascular? I just only need to mention only, right? Vascular or what tissue? There are two tissues inside vascular. One and what? Dilem flow. Correct. Uh, and Sushi, very good. Xylem, phloem. They want one only, right? So either one will do. <coughs> Now name the type of plant R based on this life cycle. So read the question carefully based on life cycle. So what will plant R be? So it's a mango, right? It's a very thick and woody tree. So yes, this is a perennial plant. Two differences between plant R and S. Uh, okay, so plant R and S got two difference. Number one, you can talk about the life cycle when you difference first law. Right? So life cycle means how long they live. Correct, ma? So, oops. Ah, one year. This year. Ah, so one, one year, one, and many years. Oh. Okay, but don't say live for one year, live for many years. Ah. Now, I want you to write like this. Pan R, which is perennial, right? Okay, you can say the growth occurs for more than two years. And then you can say plan S uh, you can say live for one year or you can say complete its growth within one year or life cycle within one year. All right, and another one. What difference if I point this part? Yes, woody, non-woody though. So plant R got woody stem, got woody tissues. Plants don't have. And then now we can do this one already. You look at page twenty one. Finish already. Look at page twenty one. Can say one second you growth, one doesn't. Yes, you can. So the same as the wood, that one. One undergoes second new, one does not. Can also. See, now we can draw this one in the page 21. So they ask you to uh, draw a growth curve for you dicot plant in five years. So, okay, I've already mentioned this, right? Dicotyledon plant are basically perennial. Because dicotyledon, right, their, their, their leaves are all like that one, right? Like papa, uh, mango tree, the, the, the big trees that you see, right? So you dicotyledon are plants, they are perennial plants, actually. They can undergo secondary growth. So therefore, what are you going to draw here? No, what are you going to draw here or not? You're going to draw the annual series of sigmoid curve. So basically every year, like that, like that. Decrease and go up, up and go up. 
Oui. Yeah. Yeah, I draw again. You see, yeah, the, the, the. so it will go up already. Then we can come. So, wait. <laughs> don't draw so many again. So, when you come to the beginning of the year, you increase a bit, then you will go up, then go down, then up, down, up, down. Okay. That's how the yeah, question might ask you to draw one uh, for the perennial. So this is how you draw a sigmoid curve and S-shaped curve. Uh okay, so just now earlier today, right? When I did this question, I found out something not very good about this question, right? If you look at page number 28, 29. So for, for plants, right, the growth curve, right? They won't ask you to label the, the name the stages. I know in human we they ask you to name the stage, right? But in plant, there's no naming of the stage on your face. So actually, this question is not. Legit, not applicable la, for what we've learned here. Uh, so others you can try to do, but these two you just ignore it. La. Okay. Mm. Then mm. Yeah, we do this one. Besides the two questions that we ignore here, right? You can see it. Suggest two reasons why the rate increased rapidly. So at phase X here, you can see. They say the growth increase here. Okay, why? So what does a plan do here? Uh, two marks only, I uh, don't need to explain a lot. Uh. So why the growth increase? Because when it comes here, yes, got photosynthesis. So why can photosynthesis? Because can form leaves already, right? Yeah, correct, exactly. So we can say leaves are formed. And then rates of photosynthesis increases. So therefore, more sugar, more glucose produce. Is that a growth rate increase? Mm. Okay, then we continue to do here B2. So A1, B1, we just ignore how these two. Now, why plants stop growing during phase Y? So why they stop growing? So just a human and that. Why a certain issue will stop growing? Because we have rich maturity, correct? The plant reaches maturity then what else can we say oops sorry ah so like human we will say the cell division only occurs to replace dead cells okay but for plants right we can say they use the food storage to basically start to form fruits and seeds already so a bit different in human lah. in human we will say uh cell division only occurs to replace dead cell means you don't have additional additional cell division but for plants right because they're going to die already, ma, this one, one year only. Ma. So you can say the food storage is used to produce fruits and seed. All right, almost. Uh, we do this one, then I think we do one or two more, then that's it already. Two more. Uh, after this, you do two more. Two more. Uh. Okay, come. Last. See here, predict. Uh, what will happen after phase Y? Okay, so they draw halfway only, right? There's actually one more phase after Y, right? So after Y, what will happen? What happened at phase Y? Ah, phase Y, what happened? Ah, the dry mass decrease, right? Then they ask us to what will happen? Yeah, when you say the dry mass decreases. Because they start to leave shed, but most importantly, on your right, disperse the seed. Uh, because reproduce is the important thing here. So, dispersal of 
seeds and fruits. Okay, so yeah, you can see some very, very straightforward uh, this question basically. Okay, but now I don't want to do straightforward one. We do slightly difficult one. This one, page 32. Question 13, done. Five, four, three, two, one. Da -da. Now, this question, we have a carrot and we have a hibiscus. First, what types of plant are they? So these are life cycle question again. I know. Okay, A is by N, right? Definitely. But what about B? B, okay, B is the main one. This one we know already. In fact, we got mentioned already, right? But B, yeah? who can tell me what's B? Come, guys, B, B, B. Y'all try, try a bit, see? What do you think is B? Hibiscus salt. So this is biennial, but then this one? Annual or perennial, so left with two options only, right? What do you guys think? Annual or perennial. So if you ever see hibiscus before, right, do they die very fast? Or are they there for many years? Ah. Sure, you could see before, right? Our national flower. So maybe some of our schools will have one. Right? So answer actually is a perennial. It's there for many, many years one. Right, it doesn't die straight away, and plus you can see there's woody stem, and another thing is right, hibiscus it actually is a dicotyledon. You see the leaf, is broad one. So it's dicotyledon. Dicot definitely is perennial one. Okay, if taken care nicely, yeah. But in general, their lifespan. Okay, the flower might die, but after they will produce again. It's not like the flower produce already then they die, right? The flower produce already, the flower might die, but the whole plant does not die. They will then can continuously keep on producing the flower. Right, so they are perennial, they can bloom many times. So, two difference between plant A and B. So, besides saying they are perennial and biennial, right? Okay, number the first one you can write the life cycle, which we did just now, live for uh more than two years, complete within one year, uh, two years and more than two years. Another one, also the woody and non woody, oh, got secondary growth, no secondary growth, same as just now. Okay, so you can write back the same thing. So, got Secondary growth, uh, A, sorry, got no secondary growth. B, got secondary growth. And then, uh, the woody, non-woody, complete within one year, more than two years. Ah. That one you write yourself, ah. same thing, ah. okay? Now, let's do another one. A, complete their life cycle in one growing season. Do you agree with this statement? Justify your answer. Guys, you agree or not? Yes or no? Correct or not? This thing. Correct or not? They say like that. Is it correct? One growing season only. Correct, Mark? Yes or no, guys? Oh, we're going to end already. Come on, faster. Yes or no? No, right? Yes, definitely. It's not correct. Do you really see what buy and no plant man just now? So buy, how can it be one? Buy is two years, man. So no. So you can say because a uh, plant A is a buy and no plant which uh, completes its life cycle within two years, not one. Now, which plant does not die after flowering? So, very obviously, perennial. Perennial or the 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 biennial A or B. <clears throat> Definitely is B, right? Because it's not we say it, ma. 
the flower die, but the plant does not die. So next year can produce another flower and flower and flower. So, so obviously it's plant B. So you can say because, because plant B have longer life span, which is more than two years. We know that. So which means it can produce flower, fruit, seed many times, right? Like durian tree, and then every season one durian, next season another durian. But not necessarily this all, all, all of them got, got, got fruits, uh, but in general, yeah, they can produce flowers, fruit, seed, continuously non-stop. So hence, it can produce flower, fruits, and seed many times. And um, okay, let's just do one more. Lah. Last one, you ready? Uh, this one, lah. question 11. Can I, because plant B is period, plant have longer lifespan only cannot. Lah. You have period, plant actually no marks on because you only explain. Lah. So you must say why longer lifespan so you can produce uh, flower many times. Lah. So cannot just say like that. Sorry. Now, A, uh, 11, question 11, page 30. Identify types A, type the type of plant that shows the growth curve as shown. So it's not very simple. Like you can see this chapter is actually very, very, very easy. Right? Like you can see here, this is basically perennial. Huh? Don't need to think. Huh? Okay. okay, finish this quick. Huh? Two examples of plants that have growth curve shown. So what are the example of plants we mentioned just now? Um, <laughs> you already mentioned Moranti, okay, nah. okay Moranti. The, the fruits would be the easier one, right? If you think this name is very hard to remember, durian, mango, especially these two. The most common one we have here. Hibiscus. It can, yeah. we just mentioned hibiscus, right? Yeah, of course, can. <laughs> hibiscus. Also can I explain the type of growth that occurs from the second year onwards. So the second year onwards is what growth? Second year onwards. So there's only two growth we learned today, ma. So first year is what growth. Then after that, second year onwards is yes. All right. Second, three, growth. And then explain. So secondary growth does what? Increase the diameter law. So you can say which increases the diameter of the plant. Next, last one already. Lah. Estimate the age of tree. Uh, come, count. One, two, three, how many? Actually, this one we did before, actually, the same. <laughs> exactly the same stem here, actually. So it's actually how many years. So actually, you've got to count the inside one also counted. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, 10 years. Exactly. 10. Mm. Because uh, first year is primary group. Primary group also need to form xylem. Uh. So the first one is, yeah, this one is the first year law. That's why it's counted law. All right? Describe the formation of its annual rings, same as just now law, during summer, also during spring. Uh, there is more growth. So therefore, condition more, sorry, condition more suitable 
so thicker lor. Ah, so you must say during the right last one ah during spring. Okay. Or oh, one mark only, you don't even the right condition more suitable this thing. You just have to say thicker and brighter. That is xylem vessel. Ah. So I remind you one more time. Ah. Ah, not rings. Ah. Must say xylem vessels are for Now for the rings one, for the sake of following, the, for the sake of the textbook thingy, so we write late summer, not winter. Okay, so for rings, we write late summer instead of winter. Lah, huh? But correct one is supposed to be winter. Okay, so opposite. Lah. Thinner and darker. Asylum vessels are formed. Okay. Yes. So, once you're done with this one, I think we call it a day. Lah. Today is just until here only. Okay. So the remaining questions you can try to do yourself. All right. So as, as we chapter two, lah, of course, definitely today we didn't do chapter two at all. So for chapter two behind the questions, or try to do yourself, there are answers in front. And like I say, lah, for chapter two, there's a video for you here to watch. And I got cover some of the questions behind inside that video. Lah. So you just need to scan this QR on my YouTube channel. Then, ah, then yeah, like I said, if you don't want to watch the whole video, the whole chapter two video, if you just want to study, let's say photosynthesis, I also got one specific video for, for uh, regarding photosynthesis on my YouTube. I show you here, lah. Ah, you just have to come to my YouTube channel here. Then you scroll down, see, scroll down. There's one playlist here, photosynthesis. It's right there, and then you can see all. Mm. So answers are here, lah. Answers also don't need to go very fast. Scan here, got answers already. Okay, so if no questions, then today's until here. Lah. Okay, bye bye. Hope you learn a lot today. Bye bye.